Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the tech channel, and I'm going to do a walkthrough of the steps that will let you copy your recovery partition from the new Surface Pro onto a flash drive. This is really your only reinstallation media should something happen to your Surface Pro, whether you get a virus that wipes things out or whether you have a problem with the solid state drive. Uh, if this gets wiped out, you'll notice it didn't ship with a disk to reinstall, and of course it doesn't have a disk drive. So thinking ahead, it's uh, recommended, I think, to get yourself a flash drive. Uh, I got a 16 gigabyte only because Microsoft says it's going to take 7 gigabytes for this recovery partition to copy over. And uh, with an 8 gigabyte drive, after formatting, it, I didn't want to end up 100 megabytes short and have it not work. So I got a 16. You also want to get a USB 3.0 flash drive because the port on this is USB 3.0 and it runs about 10 times faster than USB 2.0. So when the time comes to do the reinstallation, it will really speed things up a lot if you have a faster flash drive. Anyway, this is the one I chose. I really like these Patriot drives. They really do seem to be zippy. I'll put a link down below in case you're interested in this particular drive after you see me go through the process here. But the last thing to tell you is once you've copied the recovery partition onto this and put this safely in the drawer or something so you have it for later, once that copying's done, it's going to ask do you want to delete that partition off of this? And the reason to delete it off is to free up the space. That seven gigabytes will now become available to install another program or put more data on this. So you have to decide, um, is it worth it to get that extra seven gigabytes? Do you trust that the recovery partition on here is going to be okay, that you're not going to lose this, that it's uh, not going to get corrupted somehow or another? So that's a decision you have to make. I personally am going to take the recovery partition off of this. I could use the extra space. So let's go through these steps. All right, the first thing Microsoft recommends is make sure you have enough power. It's gonna take about 15 minutes for it to complete the process and you don't want the power to go out during that. So uh, have a charged battery um, or you can just plug in the, the power supply. And the next step is to take your flash drive and plug it in. It has to be plugged in at the start of the process. So I'm gonna take mine here. You notice the blue color inside of it that tells you it's USB 3.0. And that is plugged in right here. It's got 14.7 gigabytes free space, so it should certainly do the job. Now, I've used this some, been to websites, installed a couple little things, so it's showing my free space currently at 86.3 gigabytes. Let me make a note of that. Okay, that way I'll be able to see how much space I actually did free up after deleting the recovery partition. Okay, next step, make sure you're running here. Um, any screen really is okay because you're going to search. Oh, you go up to the top right or else slide over from the side. Go to search. What you're going to search for is recovery. You're going to type it right here. Now, if you see this, no apps match your search. It's true. It's not an app. You have to look down the list here and recovery is going to be under settings. So you've got to come down here, click on that. Now we have the options for all the stuff you can do to reinstall Windows and back up your um, recovery partition. That's what we want the one called Create a Recovery Drive. And have to say yes. And this says it's going to help you to uh, create the recovery drive, a bootable drive. It can help you fix your computer if you're having issues. Anyway, the option here is if you don't select it, I believe it just creates a, a bootable drive. So you can go in in like a mini Windows version to uh, work on your system. But we're going to choose this one, or rather have, leave it selected. Copy the recovery partition from the PC to the recovery drive. Okay, the drive must be able to hold at least 8 gigabytes, and everything on the drive will be deleted. Now, see, they're talking about the uh, recovery partition being 7, but apparently the bootable, making a bootable involves some too. This is where I think it's a little iffy to go with an 8 gigabyte flash drive. And they're warning again, everything on the drive will be deleted. So they're telling you it, it will wipe out your drive, your flash drive. Okay, I'm going to create. Formatting the drive, copying utilities. Now it's up to copying the recovery partition. I notice it started right at six o'clock, so I'll get a good idea here of how long this takes with the 
USB 3.0 flash drive in it. Well, it's 6.05 and it's just about done copying the recovery partition. This is a lot faster than I was expecting. There we go. That took five to six minutes. That was all. That, that's a fast flash drive. Okay, it says the recovery drive is ready. You can also delete the recovery partition on your PC to free up some disk space. And you have to click down here to select delete that recovery partition. And I tell it yes, delete the recovery partition. You can free up some space by deleting the recovery partition, but you won't be able to refresh or reset your PC again without the recovery drive. I'll say, okay, delete it. Now this is telling me that eight gigabytes of disk space has been added to your C drive, and I'll say finish, and now I'll take a look at C drive and C. It's showing up now at 94.1. So before we were at 86.3, now we're at 94.1, so that means not quite eight, 7.8 7 .8 gigabytes. That's what we gained. All right, I've got my extra free space now on the drive, and hopefully I've got a good recovery partition bootable flash drive here because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna run this. I'm gonna boot from this and run it and have it do a complete restore of the system, and then I'll see how that works. I'll make a video of that. So if, so if and when the time comes that you're gonna need that, um, we'll have that up. I'll put a, a, a link to it right here in case you need it right now. And otherwise, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be putting up a number more videos once I've uh, cleared this off and taken some more measurements of the free space some other ways. I'm going to wipe it completely and try to put Windows 7 on it. That'll be my next challenge.